These killings happened between 8th and 18th April 1994. The Tutsis had gathered at Mountain Morire and were coming from Rubona, Nawe, Mabare, and Morire sectors together with those that had come from Ramagana. The survivors from there say they fought with the Inerangwe militia until they were wiped out after they were joined by the army, Jean Marie's, and the government soldiers who were under pressure from the RPA troops. We were all running with no direction and later converged at this mountain. We were more than 15,000 and we promised to fight for ourselves. The older men fought the militia whenever they came. We would hide the women and children behind stones protecting them from the attacks of the militia. They would come in big numbers and we fought them back to the point that we even got a hold of one soldier called Uwi Horee and took away his gun until we saw a car of soldiers. There was a girl called Chirabgire who with others collected dried banana leaves and we burnt the car. They saw that we had energy as well. That is when they bought many soldiers and gendarmes and they shot at us all. Those that survived from the Muride mountains say that they were shown extreme cruelty with some eaten by wild animals until they were rescued by the RPA troops. The last attack is what wiped us out completely. I was lying under so many dead bodies. I heard people talking and I thought they had come to rescue us. I lifted my head and that is when they cut my neck. The inner Hayamwe soldiers really shot at us and after started brutally chopping us. Those that were able to run escaped. It was really too much. Ramagana district, home to Moride sector, that has the former Vichumbi community that was led by Bagomaster Laurent Semanza, who was replaced by Rugambadara, is where masses of Tutsis were killed because, according to numbers from Ibuka, the genocide memorial sites in this district have more than 80,000 bodies of genocide victims. Dativa Musabyeyezu says that in Ramagana district, there are 11 genocide memorials that have 80,608 bodies of victims of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. The 18th day of April is a historic day in the country because that's when leaders went to Jikongoro and Butare to mobilize Hutus to kill the Tutsis, as explained by Dr. Jean de Massin Bizimana. <laughs> On 18th April is when the then president, Feodor Sindikubgabo, together with the Prime Minister, Jean Kambanda, went to Jikongoro and conducted a meeting where they gave directives to kill and attack Tutsis in Murambi and those that had sought refuge in different churches around. They then went to Maraba and gave the directives of killing the more than 40,000 Tutsis that had sought refuge at the Simbi Catholic Parish, which started immediately after they had left. On this day too, those that were leaders of the country instigated other parts of the country in the northern province and were praising those that had already started killing because in those areas, the genocide had delayed to kick off.